Hey guys, Jay here, and I'm going to be doing uh, another small unboxing. Um, this one comes to us from Vanquish Products. And I've been waiting a long time for these. Uh, they've been out of stock for a little while. Um, oh, cool. Stickers. Love stickers. So... First one is Curie uh, Front Wraith Axle, and these are in black, and the item number is VPS06621. Um, and yes, that's the price I paid for them. <laughs> um, very expensive, um, even buying them. I thought to myself, I must have to have my head examined, <laughs> but, alright, so this is the Curie rear axle for the Wraith as well, in black, VPS um, 06622, and yes, that's the actual price I paid for them. Um, oh, what can I say, very expensive item, um, I see a lot of guys using them. Um, definitely better than plastic. Um, <clears throat> so, hoping that they're going to last a lifetime. Or at least I'm going to try and get them there. So that I don't have to buy, uh, new axles again. Um, I'm not sure if I need to yet. Um, I think these come with skid plates on, um, the diff housings. Um... I think it's already built in on the bottom of the diff housings. I think there's like a little skid plate. I'm not really sure about that. Um, but there are um, there are pots. Uh, I think um, Blue Monkey Blue Monkey RC. Something like that has uh, little skid things to put underneath the pumpkin. So that, um, so that you're not, you know, scraping the bottom of them all the time. And... Um, as much as I like crawling, I have the Vanquish um, link set, <clears throat> and um, I just hate that there's nothing I can do to protect those links because they're, you know, they're silver, they look really nice, and um, they scratch up. I've scratched them up pretty bad in just a couple of runs, so, um, you know, so I want to protect these as best as I can. Um, I'd probably rather replace the Vanquish links than to replace these again. So hopefully those are going to last. Um, don't plan on do, using these until um, the springtime. Uh, I'm going to do um, an overhaul of the Wraith during the springtime as far as greasing the diffs and all that. And, and um, well, actually I won't be greasing the old diffs, but I'll be, you know, getting these ready, um, changing the bearings out, um, and just getting her cleaned up again. Um, so I guess on to my next unboxing. And this comes to us from Horizon Hobby. So let's see. There is a backstory to this. So we'll see what happens. Oh cool. Alright. So we've got a motor. And that is part number D Y N S. Come on, fourteen hundred D Y N S fourteen hundred. Um, it's a taser, taser micro brush, micro brushless motor with pinion. Um, and this is. A little motor mount for the motor. Okay, so the backstory to this is, and I'll try and make this as quick as possible. Um, I had about three runs on my micro, and um, one day I was running it outside, and I heard this grinding noise, and so I'm like, "Oh, what's up with that?" And um, so I looked inside, and these cars are so tiny, and the pots are so tiny that you really don't, <laughs> you really don't want to take them apart. I, at least I don't. Um, I mean, lucky for lucky for me, I have a photographic memory. 
Um, I can take things apart and, and pretty much remember how they go. But um, it would be like if I took, a car, took apart a, a car motor, I don't necessarily know how everything works, but I can photographically remember where each gear and everything goes so it's kind of um it's kind of a blessing but anyways um so <clears throat> reluctantly i decided to um dig deeper and find out what was causing the grinding so i look at my spur gear and it's pretty chewed up and i look at my pinion gear and it looks kind of chewed up as well so i dig even more further and um decide to pull the motor apart and when I do um, there's a pebble right where um, the spur and pinion meet so um, my theory is well maybe I should go ahead um, so anyways um, yeah so anyways I contact Horizon um, via one of their old um, postings on YouTube and someone from Horizon was, um, you know, very nice to get in touch with me back. I didn't even really expect an answer from someone from Horizon. I just wanted an answer from anybody. I was like, what was causing, the, what causes this grinding? Was it the rock? Um, so they came up with a couple of answers. But anyways, um, they said, you know, you're going to have to change the spur and pinion, which I knew. Um, so I changed the spur. And when I got to the pinion, that's when the real trouble started. And I, um, the pinion was already chewed up. So I took a pair of pliers and was pulling on the pinion gear. And for the life of me, that thing wasn't coming off. Now, to just let you know, I am not built like Arnold Schwarzenegger or anything like that. But I've been working out for the last 30 years on and off karate, boxing, kickboxing, um, you name it, um, except MMA, I'm too old for that, <laughs> uh, um, so anyways, and, you know, and I weight lift and train and all that stuff, and try and eat right, and blah, 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 but anyways, I couldn't get that thing, damn thing off, I mean, I could not pull that off, and, um, so, I contacted Horizon via the same YouTube video, and said, is there a special way how to get this pinion off, because I can't get it off, and so the guy gets back to me again and says, oh, yeah, all you need to do is use a pair of hemostats, um, which is like a scissor-like thing, if you don't know. Um, uh, or you can use a pair of needle-nose pliers, you know. So I'm um, like, <laughs> yeah, uh, not, not going to happen, um, especially with the hemostats. Uh, but anyways, I wrote back, I said, I've put, I've put pliers to this thing and I cannot get it off so there was no response um I guess the guy didn't understand how stuck on this pinion was so anyways I decided to go to horizon hobby um dot com their site and they have a, a claim thing that you can fill in uh to see if you are I guess worthy enough to have them fix it um I was actually thinking about just buying a new motor but um, these aren't, um, the, I, there was like maybe one seller on eBay who had one. I think they wanted 50 bucks for it or something like that. So, uh, I'm not paying $50 for a $26 motor. So, um, so I said, I've only had this car for like a month. I've only got three runs on it. Let me give it a shot. Maybe, maybe Horizon will help me out. Um, so I pleaded my case. I even told them the weightlifting story <laughs> about how that, you know, um, it's just not coming off. And um, so I guess this brings us to present day, and here we are. And they were nice enough to um, uh, send me a new motor with uh, a new motor mount. So I'm very happy. Um, I'm glad that um, I'll have to say this for Horizon is that they definitely stand behind their products. I, I don't quite know what the connection is with Losi and Horizon. Um, I don't know if the car is made by Losi, but it's Horizon Electronics. Um, I don't know the backstory to that. But anyways, um, I know this is, as I believe on the motor it says Horizon. It will not focus. 
So anyways, um, it does say Horizon Hobby on there. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy. I mean, shout out to Horizon. Thanks for getting back to me. Thanks for taking my case seriously. And um, I, I like the Micro. I think it's a really cool car. Um, I had a lot of fun with it in the house. Um, and I actually had bought a 3S LiPo for it. So I wanted to put that on it and and uh, see what it would do. Um, I am reluctant to take it back outside though. But um, I don't know. Maybe it was just a freak accident. You know that you know the pebble got kicked up in there. Um, maybe it was just a freak accident. I hope. Um, so definitely can't run 3S in the house because there's just not enough running room, and that's way too much power for this car. Because um, it goes pretty, it's pretty zippy with the nickel metal um, hydrate battery that they they give you with it. So it's pretty zippy with that. So I mean, with a 3S, I mean it's it'll go. So hopefully, uh, um, you know, put this together um, soon. Um, my wife's getting a rally for Christmas and she was looking forward to racing me and, um, I had actually bought her, um, I bought her, um, a little 3S LiPo too for hers so that we could go outside and race. So, you know, she was totally bummed when this car broke down. So hopefully, um, I can get this up and running and again, shout out to Horizon. Thanks for your help guys. Um, that's excellent cu customer service. And I guess that's it for this video. Um, I bored you guys enough. <laughs> um, take care, guys, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.